Good morning. My name is OnePegMG, and this is the Tarkov News for January 2nd, 2019. Happy New Year, everybody. Hope your 2019 goes extremely well. So into the Tarkov News. Battlestate put out a couple of tweets. Uh, I think that's the majority of what it is that we're going to go over today. But BSG says, Happy New Year, dear players. Some of us are still on duty, and thank to your fresh feedback and opinions, we are making your experience better. For example, we tweaked a lot of odd trades, prices, limits, balanced 556 ammo, yep, it's buffed, corrected localization mistakes, etc. Your reports being processed, bugs being prioritized, huge thanks for that. Also, it's a lot of new players to handle, so our specialists working closely with hardware to minimize any technical issues. Happy holidays. I take this as them saying essentially, yep, it's going to be laggy because we did the same shit last year and we're going to have server issues. What can you do? So a little PSA, just like last Christmas for the same similar type of event, there's going to be a lot of new players, a huge influx of folks, and yeah, it's going to get weird. On top of that, just as another added thing, there are rumors going around that people that have bought game packages that came with 14-day temporary keys who are handing them out to others, those are being tracked to see who's the person doing the gifting. And there are rumors going around where if hackers are getting a hold of those keys and using them to hack the game, it is reflecting poorly on the person that did the gifting. And people are saying that they gifted away keys and then their account got banned when somebody that they gifted the key to or somebody that used the key that they posted publicly on Reddit ended up using it to hack the game and then their account got banned. I don't know if that's necessarily true. I'm just saying it is something that's being rumored and I would be careful with who you hand your keys to. That's all. <clears throat> lastly. Oh, second to lastly. Sorry. Escape from Tarkov has hit a million followers on Twitch. Not their Twitch channel, but the game itself across all of Twitch now has hit a million followers. So pretty cool to see that the game is still getting positive viewer attention. And I, I hope that for the sake of content creators, it's something that continues to grow. Now, lastly, there is one other issue that I did want to make sure that got discussed at least a little bit. A couple of weeks ago, there was a podcast that was aired on YouTube in which a gentleman who had been incredibly involved in the licensing agreement process with Battlestate Games had come forward and said that they essentially screwed the pooch on about a dozen different manufacturers trying to essentially play the greed game where in a manner of speaking they were looking at trying to gain revenue from the manufacturers with battle state games and escape from tarkov being the advertiser or the marketer of those components and weapons through the game itself which is not typically how this stuff goes um in the marketing sense BSG and Tarkov have no track record or history whatsoever to speak of. So it's very difficult for a weapons manufacturer to pay for advertising when that advertising was not vetted by the manufacturer and the game itself has not yet been proven to be a profit center for anyone or anything. So what it looks like is at the moment via documentation that is pretty easily accessible on the internet, there are a lot of weapon manufacturers saying that BSG either outright refused or requested terms that were not things that could be realistically agreed upon by these manufacturers of these components and weapons and have since said, no, we do not want this stuff in your game. And BSG has more or less ignored them. Now, my understanding is that there have been cease and desist things that have been sent to Battlestate to say, hey, take this stuff out of your game. But, you know, it's Russia, and they could just tell these guys to go pound salt, and they're just going to ignore it and leave it in. I don't really know what's going to happen here. 
All I know is that there's about a dozen manufacturers right now that are saying that their stuff is in this game and they didn't have permission to do it. So take that for what you're going to take it for. That's all I have for the news for today. I will make sure to update you guys tomorrow. Thank you again so much for taking the time to check me out. I hope you guys appreciate the content. There's going to be links in the description as always. Please consider hitting the sub button. I appreciate you all. Thank you very much. Peace.